Hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Dr. Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you are having a blessed and wonderful day today. Well, today we will be looking at 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 through 4. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Today in the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 1 through 4, we hear Peter speaking to the presbyters in the early church. Presbyters, from the Greek word presbyteros, were elders in the early church, providing the function of leading and overseeing the flock. Many historians and scholars believe they also coordinated work with bishops and deacons. Nonetheless, they held an official hierarchical role in the structure of the early church. So Peter speaks to the presbyters and he says, Tend your flock, not by constraint, but willingly, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Don't lord over your flock, but be examples to your flock. And in doing so, you will receive the quote-unquote crown of glory. In other words, he is calling them, the presbyters, to be leaders of purpose who accept the responsibility and opportunity in the right spirit focused on Christ to be examples of uprightness and righteousness to those that they lead and interact with. These are great words from Peter for us to follow, even today, those of us who profess to follow Christ. In looking at the text and sorting through it, I'd like to focus on three words that Peter gives. One is willing referring to the act of the will, a decision. Are we willing to be a beacon for Christ today, to do difficult things, inconvenient things, and to be salt and light to the world? Peter says, not by constraint, but willingly. Secondly, he uses the word eager, acting with excitement, anticipation, with enthusiasm, Is our spiritual life and works given the same energy and eagerness as other dimensions and parts of our lives at work, at school, at play, at hobbies, even with family? He says to the presbyters, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. And then the last word is examples, a representative of, an illustration of, a thing characteristic of its kind, in our case, a Christian? Are we noted by our belief and work as Christians? Are we examples of Christians? Do those we know think and know us as Christians? Examples of Christians. Would strangers recognize us as Christians? Peter tells the presbyters, don't lord over, but be examples. Peter's words then for the presbyters were willing, eager, and examples. He was challenging them and exhorting them in these concepts, and he is doing so for us today. This message applies to me in my life. And I pray, Lord, help me to be willing to stand with you eager 
to do your work in my life and with and through others and stand as an example of a person transformed by you, willing, eager, and an example. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Dr. Jerome Lavelle, and remember our words of the day from St. Peter are willing, eager, and examples. Until next time, be well and be blessed. Be blessed.